here comes Fatima Nargis with the pride of being in Kodapanakal family. Nargis is born to Panakat Sayyid Munawarli Shihab Tangal and Ms. Haniya Sakaf. She is the granddaughter of Sayyid Muhammad Ali Shihab Tangal, a true leader of entire India. Anxiousness and curiosity makes a different learner and her attitude is quite positive. She is also a district medal holder and state level participator in skating championship for straight path. You don't get bored in straight path as teaching and learning process may very enjoyable. There are many initiatives and programs which helps us to grow. So I thank the school for introducing Nargis had walked into the finals after having very tough competitions against her friends. She has survived all these rounds and here in front of all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Nargis. Good afternoon. I'd like to take you to a deathbed. The room is surrounded by deep sorrows and sadness. The entire atmosphere is filled with pain and sympathies. Yes, it's a deathbed of Ardur Ash, a legendary Wimbledon player. He is dying out of AIDS, which he got due to an infected blood. He received during a heart surgery. Being a celebrity tennis player, Arudurash was getting hundreds of mails and other forms of communication from his strong fans. One of the letters he got wrote like this. Ash, why God had selected you for such a chronic disease? With a beautiful but painful smile on his face, Arudu replied. Fifty million children started playing tennis. Five million of them learned to play tennis. Five lakh of them learned professional tennis. Fifty thousand children came to circuit. Five thousand reached Grand Slam. Fifty of them reached Wimbledon. Four reached semi-finals and two were qualified for finals. And at last, in the victory stand, when I was holding the Wimbledon cup in my hand, I never asked God. Why me? Or why this cup is for me? Respect the dignitaries, parents, teachers, and my dear friends. Myself, Fatima Nargis, student of Straight Path International School, deem it a great honor and privilege to share some thoughts with you pertaining to this story. We, the human beings, most intelligent living creatures of this planet, abundantly blessed by God in many ways. Life is supposed to be a mixture of diverse feelings and experiences. There can be times where we get extremely happy and joyful, and there can be times and moments where we feel horribly knocked down. But that's life. Ups and downs are the part of predetermined destiny of our life. However, most of the times, we the ones with intellect and wisdom fail to understand the realities of our life. We get easily disturbed and disappointed when the things go the way we don't like. We get extremely knocked down when few changes occur in our plans and decisions. And we start to blame God, curse our destinies, spend our time and thoughts counting the hardships we face without even thinking what we have. When we get dissatisfied of our life, we don't realize that there are hundreds and thousands outside dreaming of a life as ours. Look at the streets as you travel, under the flyovers as you drive fast, and back care of restaurants when you wait for your desserts after a sumptuous food. You could see life there. Yes, you could see life there. Hungry mouth, nothing to eat than leftovers, nothing to wear than torn pieces of clothes, nothing to keep them warm in winter. For them, 
they go so not to accumulate wealth not to have promotion in their career not to have vacation in Switzerland and not to have Rolls Royce to drive what they need is simple a spoon full of meals and a cup of water they walk miles and miles in search of water when you waste gallons of water amusement parks friends isn't this right time for us to contemplate to be thankful for all the blessings we have and stop complaining about the things we don't have remember we complain about our slippers when there are thousands of people without even legs let's see the paradigm of our thoughts life is constituent of happiness trials sorrows failures and success when the happiness keep us sweet trials keep us strong when the failures keep us humble and the success keep us glowing let's live simply be happy walk humbly and love sincerely thank you and wishing you a beautiful life ahead <laughs>